It wasn't the biggest predator in its ocean, but few were more feared. Roughly 90 million years ago, in the warm, shallow waters of the western interior seaway, a monstrous fish patrolled the depths with jaws agape. Xyphactinus, a name that means sword ray, earned its place in prehistory's rogue gallery not just for its looks, but for how it hunted. Imagine a fish the size of a small car, with a grin full of fangs and a body built like a torpedo. This wasn't your average sea creature. Scientists still puzzle over its shocking behavior, fossilized in mid-action. A 13-foot Xyphactinus once swallowed a 6-foot fish hole and paid the ultimate price. But why? What evolutionary gamble led to such reckless gluttony? As we'll see, Xyphactinus may be more than just a prehistoric predator, it may be a lesson in ambition gone too far. The western interior seaway was a primeval highway, a vast corridor of marine life stretching from the Arctic to the Gulf of Mexico. In this sunlit expanse, the competition was fierce, and Xyphactinus thrived in the chaos. It wasn't armored like a mosasaur, nor did it need the cunning of sharks. Instead, it had speed, teeth, and hunger. Fossils show its deep belly, rounded like a predator always mid-feast, hinting at frequent overindulgence. Scientists once assumed that such behavior, swallowing prey half its size, was rare. But more skeletons turned up, again and again, entire fish trapped inside its ribcage. This wasn't a fluke. It was a pattern. The predator's evolutionary edge wasn't precision, it was risk. Xyphactinus gambled with its gut, hunting like it couldn't lose. Until it did. The most iconic fossil of Xyphactinus tells a cautionary tale. It died with a half-digested fish lodged in its stomach, undigested, intact, not chewed, not torn, just swallowed, whole. It likely ruptured something inside, causing death by internal explosion. But that's not the twist. The twist is what it tells us about life's balance, survival isn't just about strength, speed, or hunger. It's about knowing your limit. Evolution rewards innovation, but punishes excess. In a way, Xyphactinus mirrors us, bold, unchecked, hungry for more and sometimes, doomed by our own appetite. One fossil, two skeletons, locked together in death, whispering across millions of years, even apex predators aren't invincible. What kind of creature risks death for a single meal? In the shadowed waters of the late Cretaceous, Xyphactinus swam like a torpedo with teeth, fast, agile, and seemingly unstoppable. But nature rarely hands out power without a price. Paleontologists digging in Kansas limestone made a chilling discovery, a Xyphactinus fossil, perfectly preserved, with another entire fish, Gillicus arcuatus, stuffed inside its stomach. The predator, about 13 feet long, had tried to devour a prey nearly half its size. But something went wrong. The swallowed fish remained intact, suggesting the act of ingestion itself caused catastrophic internal damage. The question still haunts researchers today, was this a one-time fatal error, or a glimpse into a deeper behavioral pattern? Could Xyphactinus have evolved into a species that regularly walked the knife's edge between feast and fatality? This isn't just about one overzealous meal. Over time, paleontologists have uncovered several Xyphactinus fossils with large, intact prey lodged inside. Each one seems to echo the same message, this wasn't a rare mistake, it was a recurring strategy. Unlike sharks that shear their prey or marine reptiles that bite and twist, Xyphactinus relied on speed and an enormous mouth to engulf its target in one violent gulp. Its jaws were hinged in such a way that they could flare outward, almost snake-like, to accommodate massive meals. This feeding style worked, until it didn't. There's no evidence of chewing, no signs of tearing, just whole animals, sometimes jammed inside, leading to sudden death. It appears evolution had dialed this predator into a tight corner, more dangerous, yes, but also more fragile. So why didn't evolution pull it back from the brink? The answer may lie in its environment. The western interior seaway was rich, chaotic, and full of fast-moving prey. It was a system built for opportunists. Species that could snatch food quickly, without a fight. In this world, being a reckless eater might have been an advantage, until it became a liability. The fossils tell of a predator that won more often than it lost. But the losses left fossilized evidence. It's likely most Xyphactinus survived their meals just fine. But every now and then, hunger overstepped instinct. It's not a flaw. It's a feature, an evolutionary wager where the odds weren't always kind. And that's where the Rayal story lies, not just in how it lived, but how it sometimes died trying. The story of Xyphactinus reminds us that nature isn't about perfection, it's about trade-offs. Speed can cost stability. Power can sacrifice precision. Even apex predators aren't immune to evolutionary risks. And in that sense, Xyphactinus becomes something more than a fossilized terror. 
it becomes a case study in biological brinksmanship, a creature whose very success carried the seeds of failure. Evolution doesn't build flawless machines. It builds survivors. And sometimes, the line between survival and extinction is drawn with a single, fateful bite. Somewhere in the seabed, bones still whisper that warning, even the most powerful hunters can overreach. And when they do, the sea remembers.